Hey guys, it's Melissa. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the bypass tray to use with your SG-1000. You can also use it with the SG-800, SG-400, SG-500. So all of the Sawgrass printers, uh, desktop sized Sawgrass printers can be used with the bypass tray, which will extend the length that you can print significantly up to 51 inches which means uh, you can definitely print larger than the tray allows you to in any of the the uh, printers so I'm gonna show you how to set this up there's a lot of tape there's a couple of steps we're gonna have to go to the back of the printer so you can see so we're just going to um, go ahead and get started I should point out before we do that using the bypass tray will allow you to print eight and a half inches wide by 51 inches long on the SG 500 and it will allow you to print 13 inches wide by 51 inches long um, on the SG-1000, the larger model, okay? All right, you wanna start by making sure that your USB cord and your power cord on the printer itself are disconnected. You don't wanna have those connected while you're working on this, okay? So let's just unpack all of this uh, before we get started. I will tell you that it comes with uh, this instruction sheet here, which is like four pages, 99% of which is um, probably not going to be useful for you. So what you are going to look for is on page one, there's one little column here of English, and that's all you need to focus on. It actually took me about 10 minutes to figure out what I was even looking for. So we're just gonna unpack all of this um, this is a stabilizer. You will need um, the little screw that is attached and you are going to need, it looks like a Phillips head screwdriver for that. So just keep that close by. And we are going to peel off all of this blue tape that comes with it. All right, once we do this, I'm gonna give you a couple of close-ups here that you will need because there are some pegs here that need to go into the back and you'll need to uh, pay close attention to where those go. Now, underneath the bypass tray is this other uh, piece that is needs to be attached separately, so just don't miss that. I was looking for it in the box and it's not in the box. It's attached by tape underneath and some bubble wrap and um, so just make sure you don't miss that. Now, so we've got all of our pieces and now we are ready to uh, put this together. So we'll turn it around, get some close-ups so you can see exactly what I'm doing. All right, so we're gonna start with the guide plate which goes on the bottom of the bypass tray. So if you kind of tilt the bypass tray back, you'll see these three small rectangles. They are going to uh, be where you insert these three tabs and then th these little, um, pieces are going to compress into these two spots on each side. So you kind of have to guide it in there and snap that in and now that is all set. All right, the next thing we need to do is put this stabilizer piece in. So this is the part that I said came with the small screw. There's a screw hole here and this piece is where this tab is going to be inserted. So we're just gonna place this here and the screw will go in here and you just need um, a Phillips head screwdriver. Okay, so now you are ready at this point to attach the bypass tray to the printer. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in this next step. Okay, so now you're ready to attach the bypass tray to the machine. So this is not permanent, so you'll be able to take it off if you want um, when you're storing it. So you've got a couple of different pegs here that need to go into certain um, holes on the machine so that it all attaches. This connection tray here, this guide, is going to slide in here. So stand behind and kind of straight on and look for where the guide is going and it will just kind of pop on there easily. Now, when you want to remove the bypass tray, there's these two gray buttons on the side that you will just compress and you can remove the bypass tray that way. So let's keep it on here for right now. All right, so you'll move into your printer settings on your computer and just find your printer and then click the options and supplies button. That's gonna open up the utility where you'll wanna click on options and then check the box there for bypass tray. That's just going to make sure that your uh, print manager knows that that's there as an option. So once you click okay, then the next time you go into print manager under source, you'll have the ability to click bypass tray when you go to print from your Sawgrass. 
Okay, so once you've set up the software and connected, which is very easy, you just have to do that one little checkbox that you are using the bypass tray. And then in the print manager, you know, per print job, you would just mark off if you're printing from the tray or the bypass tray. Now, what exactly is the benefit here of the of this bypass tray? So in the Sawgrass SG-1000, the, the trays can print up to 11 inches by 17. The bypass tray add-on will expand that in commonly available sheets 13 by 19, okay? You can print up to 15 inches wide. However, it cannot accommodate a roll, a cord roll. So if you are going to buy sublimation paper, this is 13 inch wide sublimation paper. If you're gonna buy that on a roll, you're going to need to cut it down anyway. So just keep that in mind when you are considering a bypass tray that while you can print up to 51 inches long, it can't be on a roll. So you're gonna have to basically either stick with the 13 by 19, which the bypass tray then expands to that one more common uh, uh, paper size or by rolls and cut it down. It is an in more inexpensive way to go if you're going to be printing you know, a lot. Either you can make longer and wider jobs or you can make more jobs at the same time. But I did want to point that out that this cannot take a cord roll. You can't just print off the roll like you would like you could with um, an Epson F570. All right. All right. Now that you guys have the bypass tray all set up and ready to go, um, we'll do some more tutorials on how to use it. But it's very, very easy. Instead of picking the uh, tray option for when you're printing, you would just pick the bypass tray.